Okay, hello, hello. Welcome to the next Dreamland tutorial. The subject of this tutorial is solving door audio glitch, freezing or lagging issues with CPU underclocking. Audio glitches, DAW lagging or DAW glitching are common issues among computer musicians. There are multiple possible causes for these issues and the internet is full of door optimization guides to solve them. One of the possible causes is thermal throttling or CPU throttling. It means that the temperature of the CPU or GPU is so high that automatics will reduce CPU clock frequency in order to prevent overheating. These issues are particularly common in laptop as they have relatively small and constricted cooling systems and are more prone to overheating. As size of laptops have shrunk even smaller and smaller, the likelihood of CPU throttling has increased. A reliable door needs stable and constant clock frequency. It is possible that your modern laptop is simply not designed to maintain a constant clock frequency at its highest value because of size constraints of the cooling system. There is a simple solution for this, which is called CPU underclocking. But before doing this, it is a good idea to be sure that you have done all door optimizations and have a clean and functioning cooling system. One more trick to help your laptop cooling system is to put it on a stand so that there is better airflow to CPU fan. Here you can see how I've done it. So I have a laptop on stand. There is just a couple of wooden bricks under it. And here is air inlets to CPU fan. So there is plenty of space. There is no obstacle blocking. If CPU throttles while working in DAW, you can see this from Windows Task Manager Performance tab. There is a clock speed here. So you would see that the value gets lower. Sometimes to even very small values like 0.02 GHz. In door like Ableton Live 10 or older, you will suddenly or unexpectedly see CPU load meter getting to high values. You see CPU load meter here. Even way over 100% or even 1000% I've seen. The real cause is not the increase of CPU load. The real cause is dramatic reduction of CPU performance and clock frequency. You can confirm this behavior by monitoring CPU temperature with an app like CoreTemp or Specky, where you might see temperature rising before door issues and then falling again. In CoreTemp, you can get CPU frequency and temperature to Windows taskbar, which is a very useful feature when trying to trace CPU throttling issues or if throttling is causing door issues. Here you can see in my taskbar I have core temp. So core temp sends CPU temperature here. It updates all the time as you see. Here is load. It's not that important, but CPU temp is important. And here CPU clock frequency is also very important. So I see them all the time while working if I'm trying to trace issues. Okay, so let's go to the solution under clocking your CPU. You can do this in Windows Power Options, which you can find through Windows Settings or Control Panel. Here I have Power Options here. And in Power Options, it is a good idea to have a dedicated power plan for audio working. In Power Plan, so first you choose here, Change Plan Settings, and then Change Advanced Power Settings. And here you have Processor Power Management minimum and maximum processor state. Some DAW optimization guides tell you to put both to 100%, but if you have thermal throttling issues, you might need to put a smaller value than 100% there. It is worth noting that 100% value might be in reality more than 100% because it also enables technologies like Intel Turbo Boost and similar. I would start by setting minimum and maximum to 99% and then working in DAW and seeing if issues disappear. If they don't disappear, I will set it to 95%, repeat, then 90%, repeat, until the issues hopefully disappear. By the way, on this menu you see both plugged in and on battery values, but the on battery values are irrelevant as I always keep the laptop connected to power when working on audio. 
The drawback of underclocking is that turbo boost and related technologies are disabled and you have less of burst performance. But I think that you have to do this trade-off to achieve a reliable DAW on a small laptop. So that's about underclocking. If you like this tutorial, please share, press the like button, support in the links of the description of this video. Thank you and have a nice day.